That sounds like a baby in the womb, doesn't it? Yeah, well, a fetus in the womb. A fetus in the womb? Yeah. What species is that fetus? A fetus? Species. Uh, it, would, it would be, uh, eventually. Oh, but when does it become a human life then? When it's born, when it breathes. Oh, really? So that a 26-week-old pre- but Do you know what a cesarean section is or no? I honestly can't give so birth to that. So you do a C-section. How? You cut See, them open and you lift the baby up and everyone lives. How does the baby survive? Hi, guys. Welcome to the Bio Speaks. So Charlie K crushes this college kid on life. Uh, what do you think about separation of church and state? Huh? Um, doesn't exist. It shouldn't exist. Yeah. Shouldn't exist? Yeah. So you should have church in the state. Well, first, where in the Constitution does it say that? We the can't first have amendment. Where? Uh, it's about the religion, right? So there's no exception of religion. Mm -hmm. There's no exception. It doesn't say that. Yes, it does. It says Congress shall make no law establishing religion yeah, yeah. or prohibiting the exercise thereof. Where does it say church and state? Religion. Well, hold on. It says that Congress shall make no official religion or prohibiting the exercise thereof. Where does it say that the church can't get involved in the state? It could be involved, but it can't be the religion established. Uh -huh. Hold on. We're talking about two different things then. Right? Exactly. I don't see. Like, because what you're saying is that, oh, you can be a Christian and be in the government. And that's true. That's how it works right now. You can be a Christian and be in the government. Right? But you cannot establish Christianity as the basis of... Well, no, that's not what I'm arguing. I'm arguing that Christians should be in the government and the church should be actively involved. Where do we get that phrase, separation of church and state, from? The First Amendment. No, we don't. No, it's, Th it's Thomas Jefferson writing to the Danbury Baptist Convention in Massachusetts, uh -huh. assuring them that the church would not come after the state. So let me ask you a question. Let's pretend that church and state is the law of the land, right? That the Warren Court and the Burger Court argued in the 1950s and 1960s. Then why on earth did we put up with the government going around and shutting down churches during the pandemic? I thought we need separation of church and state. Exactly. Why is it that the government can go and shut down churches? Exactly. Okay, so they Aren't they supposed shutting. to be separate? I actually they played didn't. for a church. I played drum set, right? So I was okay. in church and uh, they're not shutting down churches because of you know, COVID, you're saying that, oh, it's unsafe to be in public. Like, in but they shouldn't have the right to do it because I thought they were supposed to be separate. Right? I mean, for general safety? I mean, if you want people like dying, then. Oh, so you could shut them down for safety. So it's not separate. It's like we can come they, in for whatever reason we deem necessary okay. to restrict your religion? It's not restricting. You can practice from on camera. We, we played like through live stream and like online. Yeah. This so watching stream, church right? on a live stream is like watching a fireplace on TV. You can see everything with no uh, warmth. Okay, but if God is real all the time and you can't go to church because of a disease going around. What does it say in the Bible about do not forsake the gathering oh, of believers God. where two or more are gathered in my name? Okay, so what does it say about conception? When what? does it begin? Huh? Conception? Or when does, uh, I'm sorry, life begin? At conception, of course. Yeah. I, I thought it said at first breath. No, it actually doesn't say that. So What's the, the verse? Well, hold on. First of all, it says, I knew you before you were in the womb yeah and what you are doing is paraphrasing what you consider to be ex nihilo out of nothing made in the image of god the breath of god was actually where life begins so the question would be was john the baptist a baby when he le when he leapt in, in elizabeth's womb hmm. was he are you a christian me yeah am i you play drums at a church so i hope you're a christian <laughs> um but you're, you're missing the point it sounds like no, no, I'm actually not missing I mean, the I point. I asked you the, the verse that says that it begins at conception. Right, so I knew you before you were in the womb is one of many verses of which it reinforces that you should protect life in the womb. But, but, but you're, what you're doing is interpreting, right? So I want you to tell me where no, it I'm, says I'm re I'm reading. begins at... You're, how are you reading? There's no book. He, there, there's no book? Ah. Uh, it, it, I've memorized scripture. You should try it. So, you, so you're reading it in your brain right now? Ah. Well, well, no, in Jeremiah it says very clearly, I knew you before you were in the womb. Yeah, so when it says in the Bible that conception begins at first breath. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't. You're, then what you, does it say? You're misquoting it very clearly. Psalm 139, 13 through 16, for you formed my inward parts, it says. You wove me in my mother's womb, it says. Mm -hmm. I will give thanks to you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. Fearfully, wonderfully yes. made in my inward works. That sounds like a baby in the womb, exactly. doesn't it? Yeah, well, a fetus in the womb. Uh -uh. A fetus in the womb? Yeah. What species is that fetus? A fetus? Species. It's a baby. What Ooh. species is that fetus? It's a baby. Human? So it would be a human life? Yes, yeah, human life. Yeah, well, it would be, uh, eventually. 
Oh, but when does it become a human life then? When it's born, when it breathes. Oh, really? So that a 26-week-old preemie baby that is saved because of a cesarean section isn't a baby until it comes out of the womb? I mean, if it's born, it's born. So you believe that we should be able to terminate a pregnancy up until the moment of birth? Did I say that? I'm asking. No. Okay, so then what restriction on abortion would you give? Well, if the woman who is giving birth is going to die... Which then, never happens. Which nev never happens. That's right. So, so that's right. It is a mythology Ohio, that women will die if they have a baby. That's that right. They, they, you could they, talk to entire communities of OBs. You know why? Because if cesarean option is entertained, then you could save both the mother and the baby. Instead, the abortion industry lies to the mother, and they say that you must terminate the baby to save the mother's life. So you could talk to the, hundreds of Christian OBs and non-Christian OBs, and they will tell you that is a mythology of the abortion industry. Hmm. You know what, that's, that's, that's funny. Uh, no, it's the, actually the not way, funny. No, no, the, the, no, I'm saying you, the way you represent facts, like willingly and knowingly. I'm sorry? The way you, like, you knowingly like represent facts. You say, oh, okay, uh, abortion, oh, it's, it's terrible because, oh, you can't possibly save the baby and you can't possibly save the mother. It happens. The 10-year-old in Ohio, right? Yes, a cesarean section could have saved the baby's life and the mother's life. Do you know what a cesarean section is? Do you? Yes, my wife had one. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. It's not a bad thing. I'm saying when the baby, right? So do you know what a cesarean section is or no? I honestly don't know. Ah. Yeah, so I, I would, here's a little word to the wise. Let's quit while you're ahead. A cesarean section is a medical intervention that saves tens of thousands of lives every single year of a small slit done at the, at the top of a, a woman's pelvis. Yeah, cesarean oh, section. That's a C-section, oh, okay. abbreviated. All right? Oh, wow. So maybe you, that's, that's where we get the term C-section from. So oh, guess wow. what? If every woman that's lied to by Planned Parenthood was given a C-section instead of an abortion, so then all of a sudden abortion would not be necessary to save their life. Them. Every single one of them. If you talk to hundreds of OBs across the country, they will say medical necessary abortion is a lie. So period. You're 10 years End old, of story. Right, and you're pregnant, right? You're 10 years old and pregnant, okay? So you uh. really can't give birth through your, your womb. You can't give so birth to that. So you do a C-section. How? You cut See, them what? open and you lift the baby up exactly. and everyone lives. How does the baby survive? Uh -uh. Hopefully through a work of God and what? also medical technology that is the most is common China? surgery in America. So... I'll kind of close we'll with this, and then we'll get to the next question because we're running low on time. When does life begin? At first breath. At first breath. That moral standard of first breath would therefore believe that you could have abortion up until the, life, up until the moment of birth. Life begins at conception. conception. I'm going to say this as nicely as I possibly can. You're a drummer at a church. You should probably reconsider that yeah. because you are advocating for the most horrific and brutal eugenic non-Christian abortion policies that I could possibly imagine. I hope you prayerfully reconsider and repent. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. What? I don't understand. What's going on? Like, are there some people that don't understand the word CS or cesarean section? Like. Well, 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 no how, no how. You have someone that have gone through that. For him to say he doesn't know the meaning of CS and asking that, how will the baby survive when you bring the baby? That is the work of God. You know, that happened when, whenever the mother is not too strong to push out the baby. And now this, instead of you losing the mother or losing the child or losing both of them at once, and you know that the woman is not strong enough to push. They come out with that option so that they can save both the mother and the child so that everybody can survive. So what politics, governments should not come in between religion. This guy said he's a drummer in church and he absolutely does not know much about Christianity. There are a lot of questions he asks and the one thing I, that even struck me was when they were talking about life. When does life begin? How can you say that life begins when you come out from your mother's womb? That's when the child will start breathing. That's not true. The child starts breathing from conception. If, if you notice, that's why like some, some mothers will tell their husband, some women will tell their husband, that, come and see, the baby is kicking, is kicking. How, how come the baby can kick if it's not breathing inside the womb? And the man said that, okay, what is a fetus? And he was like, uh, fetus, fetus is a human. He was saying that, oh, this fetus is not baby. The fetus will later turn to a baby, right? So that is when conception starts from. That is when life starts from. So this guy, he does not really have 
ideas about a lot of information. I don't even know why he, he will just come out to be asking questions if you don't have your facts. You must be prepared. You must be knowledgeable. You must have your proof and your facts well. You don't have to just ask questions and be stammering and looking all confused. And at least you should have some little knowledge. Wow. That was a beautiful one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.